thing. Okay. So, is it Sunil? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. So, hey, I'm no, I'm Noah. Uh, this is Elijah. Uh, yeah. Thanks for coming to the meeting. Sorry, we got, I got the time mixed up because of the time zones thing. I'm trying to juggle yeah. a bunch of times. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, I guess, first of all, yeah, uh, cool that you're interested um, in the project and stuff. Uh, we could probably just like talk real quick about what the project is. And then if you got any questions or if you got any questions, we kind of figure it out. Yes, sir. Cool. Um, so I noticed that you're, you're already working as a software engineer already. Like, uh, uh, like JavaScript engineer or? Uh, actually, as a full stack developer, but uh, yeah. Well, and what stack? What stack do you use? Uh, so for front end, we mostly use uh, React, and yes. for back end, it actually depends on the client request. We can either do Spring Boot, Python, whichever the client request. I know. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, if you're able to help us out, it's mostly going to be just front end stuff anyway, and React is awesome. Um, and then, yeah, like uh, I'm assuming you're, you're interested, you know, mainly because it seems like a cool project and stuff like that. Uh, yes. But also, you know, we can give you a recommendation on LinkedIn, endorse some of your skills, you know, help you with the CV or link, whatever, you know, put stuff on your portfolio, that sort of stuff. So, you know, just that helps. Yeah, I love that. But anyway, um, so yeah, do you do you want to look at some of the projects we're doing or something or? Yes, uh, I would like to see the details. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll actually maybe you can make me the the host again here. I'll I'll, I'll just share my screen real quick here. Take a look at some of them. Uh, What's that sound? Uh, it's background noises. I live near a temple. Oh yeah. And are you are you in Nepal? Is that right? Yeah, yeah. I'm currently in Nepal. Cool. Uh, so I'm I'm in New Zealand. Elijah's in Canada. We've got people all over the world. Oh nice. Um, so getting started. Yeah, it should be pretty pretty mixed time zones as well. It's gonna be interesting. Um, but anyway, yeah, so here's kind of one of the projects we're working on. This is basically the Planetary Web, uh, Planetary Guardians website at the moment. Um, it's just basically a portal so people can log in here and that leads to some of the different software platforms that we're building. Um, I can just kind of log this in right now. Uh, so this is one of the pro projects we're working on here. Um, basically a we're calling it a chat stream or discussion platform but it's it's a, a new we're, we're creating an entirely new unique way of people communicating on the internet so that enables collective intelligence and some really good collaboration tools uh elijah is basically the, the brain child for this whole thing he's developed all these systems all these software systems and uh i'm, I'm kind of the lead programmer at this point and the the, the it uh, director and we're looking for, like, I'm mainly a programmer, so we're looking for, for you know, someone in the front end to help because I'm, I'm not great at it. And also, it just takes a lot of my time, and I, I'm better at programming. And as you can see, you know, this could look a lot better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but it's just it's kind of the, the, yeah, kind of like the, the pieces. You can see some of the pieces here anyway, you know, like. Um, they can manage their team and that sort of thing. Um, basically, what we're doing here is we're creating a system um, this is the admin level, uh, where someone can create a group, um, and they'll be able to, and then as a facilitator of that group, they can manage their team, you know, manage missions, um, do that sort of stuff. And as the regular member, it's a pretty simple setup. Um, and I, I can't actually show you the chat room right now because we're, it's still, it's in development at the moment, but this is one of the things that we're building. Um, there's a few. Uh, I can show you another one real quick so, here as well. So, oh, what are you using for chat? Ah, uh, sorry. So, what are you using for chat? A sockets or something like that? Uh, yeah. The group I mean, chat? At this point, uh, uh, this is we're, we're building it from scratch. So everything is our our in-house design. Uh, it's got like PHP in the back back end right now, and just regular like. 
JavaScript with some jQuery in the in the front end mostly. But I mean, we needed we need someone who who can do React and that sort of thing because yeah, it's as you can see, it's it, it needs a, a facelift. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is one of the projects, um, and like it may not look good, but what we have is a very unique idea, and we're working with a, a group called Lissiel right now, who's, who's testing our, our software, um, and um, yeah, basically we've got, you know, a lot of uh, possibilities of where this could go, but we're looking for a few people to join the team and, and help out. And uh, Elijah, maybe, maybe I'll let you say a few things here. I'm kind of going around in circles, I think. OK, so what we're working on is an idea of something called a shared knowledge community, which has like 144 people in it. So as the corporation is a cell for the old paradigm, we need to create a new form of business organization. And so what LaCiel has is 12 teams of 12 teams, 12, 12 teams of 12 people. Uh, I don't know if you know about the sacredness of numbers at all but 144 has a kind of specialness to it that if you go over 150 people, you sort of like lose track of, of the connection with people. So there's, there's something about under 150 that kind of keeps a community, you know, kind of robust in a sense. So what this is, is taking a chat room and giving it a goal, giving it a time limit, giving it a sort of conversation type, which is a way of using the conversations um, I've created a card sets, offline card set that actually codifies human communication. And so we're looking at using something like a brainstorm is very different from a negotiation, which is very different from a needs analysis, which is very different from a storytelling, which is very different from a knowledge sharing. So each mission, the team uses one of the conversation types to achieve a goal. So as opposed to just a normal chat room, the chat room has something specific that the team is, is utilizing. And so the facilitators can program that ahead of time. So with LCL, we have a series of seven missions that we're gonna take them through and we're gonna test it out. So we've already got the test group. Uh, Nova's done most of the back end work on it, but we're still missing elements. And so we put the call out to, uh, to find people who can work on, let's say little projects little pieces of the puzzle and we're, we've got quite a large design we're building and Nova has been very limited in his time because of his life situation and I don't program I'm just straight designer so we're looking to get to a point where revenue streams are coming in but we're not at that point <laughs> and so uh, the people that are going to be doing volunteer work is going to be doing it until we get to the point where we're actually bringing revenue in. So it is volunteer, but we're aiming at creating paid positions. Oh, nice. So what this is, what this is, is a divination system. The card set, there's over 400 cards. It's about 100, 100 value cards, the green ones. 72 combo types in the middle and about 200 lens cards. And so what this creates is a, is a spell to answer any question. And this particular, this is like something which people will go for free to get their free questions answered. That like we're aiming at getting like hundreds of thousands of people here a day kind of thing. And this is gonna be the way that we generate traffic at the beginning. And then we're gonna, that's just one of the sort of traffic boosters that we have. At some point, there'll be a press a button, create a chat room, and you can take this question and this spell and create a discussion around how to answer the question. A lot of the stuff we're doing is how to answer a question. Everyone's got questions, teams have questions, businesses have questions, couples have business uh, questions. This is the beginning of a new type of divination where we're looking at, anyway, there's an offline card set, which I've created, which is about to come into form in terms of uh, a box card set that you can buy, six card sets. And these card sets have the values, the convo types, and four levels of lenses, the inner you, the outer you, the inner group, and the outer group. So 
what you're seeing here was the, our first attempt at designing a chat room. Now, this is a little bit more sophisticated than we're going to have here. Um, but essentially, what we want is the facilitator to press a number of buttons and then make choices about what kind of chat room they're going to have. So, what do you think so far? Yeah, it's a pretty good concept, but uh, it's a little hard to get your head around it at Brimney. Yeah, but so here's here's a look at the uh, another way of choosing the values, which we've already figured out. There's two ways you can choose it. It is a random. Okay. So one of the big points is like, these are the different conversation types that you can program conversation types. You can take something like integrity at storytelling or braveness at needs analysis. It's a new way of programming conversation types and then choosing lenses for how you see the world. So these are the four different levels. You can see from a community point of view, so all the words are how society organizes itself. Okay, so these are the, actually, okay, there are a lot of, I'm getting a little confused there. Well, let me ask you some questions. Let me, what type of work do you like to do? Like, what do you feel you're best at or what, what do you like to do? Uh, yeah, actually, I'm, I like to work on mostly front end and DevOps also sometimes. Yeah. Have you ever I like to develop develop phone yeah. apps? Uh, yeah, I have worked with React Native. You have? Yeah. Yeah, so I guess uh, we have a few things kind of, a, I was just kind of showing you some of the pieces of some of the things we're working on. Uh, we got a bunch of projects. Uh, we're going to be getting funding for some of these things down the road here. But for now, yeah, we're, we're just looking for someone to like put in maybe three hours a week kind of idea and help with the design. And some of that could be, you know, um, you know, taking one of our, because Elijah has all his, has the complete software system already um, designed. Um, you know, and he's, he's created the, the actual like uh, sketch ups and stuff on, on Adobe uh, Photoshop or Adobe, you know, in design and all these things. Um, uh, Adobe Illustrator, sorry, and other things. Um, so we have, we actually have the, the, the schematics to build some of the things that I haven't actually shown you even. Um, that's some of the design work we, we were hoping someone can do. So like starts from scratch and actually build the concept uh, out like how it should look out of the pieces and, and we have the programming and kind of the plan already set up but we don't know you know sometimes what it should look like or what it could look like um, and then we have a couple yeah. other projects where we're really mostly we're halfway done but you know like the this the choose a remedy one for example um, the actual system is mostly finished but it could use a better look so there's other options where you know a designer can come in and just kind of give us a new look for some of the stuff we already have and then we have projects that are kind of in the middle where they need a bit of kind of some thought process still in what it should look like and also some work to make it look like that so uh, like out of, out of that idea like what what is more exciting for you like to work on something from the bottom up or to work on something and like give it a new look but the program is already there yeah i like to work from bottom up from the scratch if, I, if possible but I can also work on that previously. Yeah, and that, that way you can kind of make it the way you, you think it should be. And, yeah, you know, we can get you some other designers to work with as well, because you've obviously got a pretty strong background in in what you're doing. Um, we have a couple people that we're looking at that, that don't really have a lot of experience, and you might be able to work with them and, and maybe take a lead on some of the design, possibly, if that's something that yes. interests you. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. that, that. So, I mean, if you're interested, then we'll go ahead and we'll look for a piece of the puzzle for you to work on, and then we'll just get started, right? Yes. Yeah, so I guess um, 
are, are you able to meet tomorrow? Uh, it'll take me a bit of time to get just to, you know, this get you some FTP credentials so you can do some stuff on the server and we're just like, um, you know, a couple uh, find an entry point for you to, to kind of work with. Um, but did, did, are you able to meet tomorrow around the same time, maybe or earlier? And kind of uh, like, uh, yeah, at uh, this time I'll be able to the morning. Same time. Same time, yeah. So, what time is it for you? Like eleven thirty now, almost. Uh, eleven fifteen. Oh, it's almost it's yes. almost eleven for you right now. Yeah, eleven fifteen. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, that's right. So yeah, like for me, it is uh, almost five thirty p.m. And oh. for Elijah, it's almost ten thirty p.m. So. Um, if, if possible, yeah. like, are you able to meet like maybe one hour earlier? Is that possible? Uh, yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, let's say ten fifteen, or your time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I guess. Um, so you want okay? Well, yeah, if you want to work for something the ground up and like really, like design it and everything. Um, then Elijah, me and Elijah will we'll talk offline and get something ready so that you know you have you can kind of take an, a, a a start of it tomorrow if you want, or or at least get set up to do it. Um, and yeah, like as far as like, what do you want out of this? Like, are you here? Are you just interested in the project and want to help out, or like you're you need some, you know, you're hoping like we can we can help you with your LinkedIn and everything like that if that helps you. But I mean, I yeah. don't know. Are you just What's your motivation? Actually, yeah, I want to build a portfolio. So the 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 most projects I do in my current company are like confidentials. So I cannot actually share them in my portfolio. That's one of the issues. Okay. Perfect. Sort of so, yeah, we'll make, yeah. So okay. So that yeah, we'll give you more design control so you can kind of really make it your own and use that on your portfolio. Um. Yeah. And so I guess, yeah, we're, we're hoping you can kind of throw in like maybe three hours or, or so a week. You know, if you want to do more, that's awesome. But like three hours a week is kind of what we're hoping for, at least anyway. Is, it, is that something you can do? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, cool. And then uh, and then we usually meet like once a week just to like check in and stuff. If, you know, we'll, we'll try to work the meeting around the times that you're available. But just to, you know, once a week check in, you know, talk to all talk together and and obviously, like, if stuff comes up, if we've got questions back and forth, we can talk more on LinkedIn or um, we have a Discord. I don't know if you use Discord. Um, yeah, I use uh, yeah. Okay, so if that's easier for you, because, I mean, once once we get going, obviously, it's once a week is, is not always enough. It's like, hey, you know, you got a question, you need to answer right away. We, we've got to set, we'll set that up, too. Um, but, yeah, okay, anyway, why don't we talk tomorrow, then, at 10, 15, your time, and... We'll have something, we'll have more to show you and somewhere to start. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Nice to meet you, Sano. All right, yeah, good to meet yeah, you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Talk to you more. Yeah, thanks, Bye. All right. <laughs> are, we, are we just being white colonizers and... Uh... <laughs> looking for volunteer help for our fledgling business. I guess everyone's got to do this, right? I mean, if you got no funding. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think, yeah, that's the way I, that's the why I put the ad out like that. I think if we, if we can help people put stuff on their portfolio and, you know, improve their resume, stuff like that, then they're getting, they're getting something out of it. I think it's fair. Well, but yeah, we got two, we got two guys now, so. I think we should get like 20, 20 or 30 and just build the whole inflow, man. Yep, I think so. That's the plan. <laughs> so can you meet again this time, one hour ago this time tomorrow? So 9.15 at night? Uh, the, yeah, 9.15 at night for you. Okay. So are you going to be able to set up all this stuff tomorrow so they can actually get working? Well, yeah. See, we're, we'll probably have to, let's talk about what the heck that is at some point because i'm taking notes like he wants to improve his portfolio he wants to work from the ground up um whereas donnie he wants to work on something that's already mostly figured out he doesn't want to work on the ground up 
and he's looking for like LinkedIn recommendations and stuff. Well, when so. like Donnie, we're putting on choose a remedy to upgrade and maybe make the phone app. I'm wondering if Sun Leo can make the phone app with him or something. Yeah, it didn't, uh, Donnie, he he hasn't made phone apps before, but he he knows how to make responsive websites. He said so. So he can help make a website look good on a mobile, but it's not an app. Oh. Whereas, whereas um, Sunil sounds like he's at, yeah, he's actually done mobile apps, which is pretty awesome. We need that. We need someone like that. So I'm thinking, yeah, like, anyway, I think if, if we we're just left with these two people, I think Sunil should be in charge of Donnie. <laughs> really? Because he knows a bit more. And I think Donnie would be appreciate that anyway, because Sunil wants to handle more of the design, like the, you know, creative, how do, you, how do you how do you know Sunil knows more than Donnie? Uh, because he's worked on mobile apps, and but they both they both know React. So what is you know, I think what is React? So okay, um, there's JavaScript. Well, all, <clears throat> all the websites on the on the internet use HTML to make all the pieces, CSS to make it look certain ways, and JavaScript to make it do things. Okay. Um, React is a JavaScript library. So it's like a whole thing built on top of JavaScript made by Facebook. Um, there's So there's JavaScript and then there's something called Angular, which is another thing that's made by Google, which is the, they're the two biggest ones basically. So React, basically if someone knows React, they know how to make really good websites. You know, they know how to make stuff look good, run fast, work on phones. Do you know what we, we can yeah, offer? I don't even know React. <laughs> you know, what we well, can offer. Good. I think what we can offer is if these guys are entrepreneurial, that within their countries, like each person's in a different country, right? And so we're, we want to activate uh, teams in each country. So we we can Actually, show them. I think uh, I think just certain regions. I don't think we should single out people in countries like. The Indian guy, the the Bangladesh guy, and the Nepal guy, they could all work together if we get them all, because they're all real close together in the same time zone, basically, or close mm. to it. Whereas, yeah, some of the Canadian people can work on it. Like, I think we should just do it by time zones. It's easier. No, but I'm just saying... Otherwise, like, we've got to try to find more people from Nepal, for example. No, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about entrepreneurial opportunities within their country. Oh, yeah? Okay. Like... like Distribution of the card sets, distribute, you know, getting people involved in like they could get find 12 facilitators, start building a shared knowledge community within their country. And we set we set them up at sort of like top of the pyramid. I mean, they, they may or may not be interested, but I think there's a lot I think down the road. I, I would suggest down the road, let's approach them like that. For now, I think just just get them on board with the three hours a week plus and and get them filled building the software for us. But yeah, potentially we're we're in this way, if we get volunteers kind of all over the place, it's it's a, some good seeding grounds. Sure. I just yeah. think that like anyone who's helping us is sort of like first in line for the opportunities, right? And I, I think, at least from my end, that that's what, again, we have to, we have to give economic solutions. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so, so you have to set up the server so these people could be by tomorrow? Well, plus, uh, yeah, give them projects to work on. So uh, I guess we're kind of thinking Donnie will give, choose a remedy, a new look. Yeah. And Sunil, he wants something new, not designed at all yet. So well, why don't maybe we, we can get him. What about the value systems? The value systems are going to be huge. Why don't we yeah. start him with the value systems? Yeah. I was thinking the synergy, the synergy thing for Lissiel. Okay. Is that's that, the, the that, That's thing? pretty close. Pretty much the same thing almost. Because the, because the other part of this in the grand scheme is uh, if I'm the IT director, I got to be able to explain the projects to the to the people. So which means you got to explain them to me or you have to be the one to explain the projects to them. Right. Yeah, you're not that good at explaining the projects, man. No, well, you're the one who really understands them. I'm good at, uh, I know the tech stuff that needs to happen. That's yeah. why I'm the tech dude. Yeah, but yeah, as far as like what the overall scheme of things is, that's uh, uh, foggy for me sometimes. Yeah, that's you got to pass the buck at the right time, right? Yeah. yeah so if I'm laughing in the background. That might be the time you want to pass the buck. <laughs>
But, but, but then it's funny because I mean I know that I can go off on my thing and talking into this and out of that and the person's just what the fuck is this guy talking <laughs> well yeah because it's, it's uh yeah yeah well yeah. you have so much lingo and so much like um naming namiology stuff going on that if you start referencing some of your stuff but they don't know what that is it's like what the hell is this guy talking about <laughs> well they gotta learn 10 different things to, to understand the first three sometimes well and, and it's funny because like you know, these guys, English is probably their second language and they're from another culture. You know, yep. we're, we're dealing with, it's interesting to me. Like it's, uh, because these people, the, to me, they're hungrier. Like they're, you know, they're ready to jump into something just because, you know, they're, they're, they want the experience and they're, um, it'd be tough to get Canadians to do the same thing like we've seen. Yeah, it's interesting too. I thought it would be harder to, to you know, kind of get these people. Yeah, I was expecting this well, to be a very difficult process. No, but I think the thing is, it's it's like you put it up in the perfect place. And, you know, there's lots of people looking for employment, just volunteer things just to prove that they, they, they've done something, right? Like, it's tough to get a good experience. So. Yeah, well, and from my experience, I, I kind of had that in mind. I'm like, because it, it is, it's shitty. Like, I don't have a degree in, in website design or anything, but I can do it. And yet you know most people don't want to give me a job because i don't have any paperwork i don't have a degree yeah. and it's just so silly you know and, and hey you know if that's not, if nothing else this is helping to build a new paradigm in that way right because it's ridiculous that everyone just needs paperwork all the time yeah so if oh. we can help them out a little bit why not just well uh check in with this other guy too he should be here by now oh 